Awareness and non-attachment excerpt from horizons beyond the mind. Attraction brings attachment towards anything and this brings pleasure. Repulsion from anything that causes pain. These are the two ways of being here in this world. You are attracted towards something which you feel causes pleasure to you and you feel repelled by something which you think causes pain or suffering. But if you become more and more alert, you will have a total mutation. You will be able to see that whatsoever causes pleasure causes pains as well. We are attached to pleasures but we are against pains. Everything brings pleasure in the beginning and pain in the end. Also whatsoever causes pain causes pleasure as well. These are the two ways of the world. One is the way of the householder. Try to understand this. It is very significant. He lives through attachments and attractions. Whatsoever he feels will cause pleasure. Eventually he moves towards it. He clings to it and finally he finds pain, anguish and nothing else. Just the opposite is the way of the monk, one who has renounced the world. He does not cling to pleasure. On the contrary, he starts clinging to pain, austerities and self-torture. He lies down on a bed of thorns, goes on a long fast, stands for years and does not sleep for months. In every possible way, he tries to torture himself, thinking that this is the way. He does just the opposite because he has come to know that every pleasure in the beginning brings pain in the end. He has reversed the logic. Now he seeks pain and he is right. If you seek pain, there will be pleasure in the end. But a man who practices pain eventually becomes incapable of feeling pain. A man who practices pain becomes incapable of pleasure for small things. You cannot understand. For a man who has been fasting for a month, ordinary bread and butter and salt is such a great feast. A man who has been lying on thorns if you allow him to lie down just on the bare ground, he will be very happy. On the plain ground, no emperor could sleep so beautifully. Certainly these are two aspects of the same coin and both are wrong. The monk has just reversed the process. He is standing in a headstand position, but he is the same man. Both are attached. One is attached to pleasure while the other is attached to pain. A man of awareness is totally unattached. He is neither a householder nor is he a monk. He does not move to the monasteries or to the mountains. He remains wherever he is. He is simply moves within. Moving within is far more beautiful than moving to the monasteries or to the world. On the outside there is no choice for him. He does not cling to pleasure or pain. He simply moves within looking at the game of pleasure and pain, light and shadow. Day and night, life and rain. He moves beyond both because there is duality. He moves beyond both. 
he transcends both. He simply becomes aware and in that awareness for the first time something happens. He is beyond both pain and pleasure. In fact, he exists in the realm of bliss. And beyond both is your real existence. Beyond both you are. This is your nature or crystal purity of the being. It is transcendence. You live in the world but the world is not in you. You are not affected by the world. You move in the world but the world does not move in you. You remain unattached wherever you are. You become a lotus flower. You become a lotus flower that grows in the mud, but the mud does not touch it. The water does not moisten it. It remains completely unattached to the environment or wherever it is. Such is the way of Buddhas.